Engineering 305, example problem 3-1. A one inch diameter steel bar is eight feet long. The diameter is reduced to a half inch in a two foot central portion of the bar. When an axial load is applied to the ends of the bar, the axial strain of the central portion is 960 micro inches per inch. The elongation, the total elongation of the bar is 0.04032 inches. And the diameter of the central portion shrinks to 0.49986. Find the elongation of the central portion, the axial strain on the end portions of the bar, and the diametral strain in the central portion of the bar. All right. A lot of stuff going on. We need a picture. It is an eight-foot bar, but... It looks like this. Where this is three feet, that's two feet, that's three feet. Oh, sorry, turn that off. There's my bar, three feet, two feet, three feet, All right? A central portion. This is half inch diameter. This is one inch diameter. All right, what else do we need to know? Um, when an axial load is applied to the ends, the axial strain of the central portion is 960 micro inches per inch. All right, so the strain here, strain is equal to 960 micro inches per inch. I just put it as micro. That's all. That's it. Micro. Done. The total elongation is 0 0.04032. So this total is 0 0.04032. That's my delta. Total. That's important. It's important that it's total, not just for the ends. What else? And the diameter of the central portion. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna. It, I'll put a little note here. It goes to four nine nine eight six. It goes to point four nine nine eight six. All right. We're just gonna leave that alone for right now. So, how much does that shrink? What is that? Delta for the center portion. I'm going to call it delta C. Well, delta for the center is equal to epsilon times the length. Well, okay, let's let's not jump to that. Our definition, right, the step ahead, our definition is that epsilon is equal to delta over L. So, therefore, the delta, how much the center changes, is equal to the strain for the middle times the length of the middle. So that's equal to 960 micro times 24 inches is equal to, got to get the trusty dusty calculator out. All right, hold on. You can tell I'm filming in the office, so um, I, I've got this calculator in the office. I don't really use it very much, but times 960 micro, and I forgot, I had to figure out, I always have to figure out at the beginning of the semester how to use this. Um, negative six, enter. So that's how much the center shrunk, or grew, sorry, 0 0, 0 0.02304, and that's, uh, I got five digits, fine, that's a lot, okay. Now, the total, so now the other question was, all right, question two, let's pull that back up. Question two is, what's the axial strain in the end portions? Well, that strain is equal to the change in the ends divided by, I'm going to call it the length of the ends, because it's not the whole system. So delta for the ends, um, delta is going to be equal to the total minus how much the middle shrunk. So it's uh, 0 0.04032 minus 0 
304 uh, minus equals equals 0.1728. Uh, oh, one, I got an extra zero in there. I got a 0.1728. Work, don't work in pen, work in pencil. It's only for your benefit that I'm doing this in pen. And this is in inches. And the length of this now, I've got six feet, six times 12, 72 inches. And so 0.01728 divided by 72 equals, see that, negative four, which really then that's equal to 240 uh, micro. 240 micro. All right. So there's our there's our first two. I'm I'm actually not going to waste another sheet of paper. Um, if I want to look at this, if I want to look at that, um, and the strain and the diameter, that's going to be they asked for the diametral strain, and so it would be the same as the radial strain. That strain, I'm going to measure that. Um, that strain in that direction is going to be equal to the point. 499, remember it's length final minus length initial, 49986 minus 0. 0.5, that's the original length, divided by 0. 0.5. Put, the, put it over there. You guys can't quite see that. Maybe you can't, can you see it, but you can kind of see it. Yeah, it's it a little bit light a little bit better. 0. 0.49986 minus 0. 0.5. Enter divided by 0.5. Enter. Okay, so that's um, equals a negative 280 micro. And and you see how that sign showed up because I did it length final minus length initial. So that sign shows up. That means it shrunk. See, it if I pull on it, I get a positive strain. That means it grows. If I push on it, it would get a negative strain. It would it would push on it would be a compressive force, and it would have a negative strain. Negative is it shrinks. So this is telling me that my diameter shrunk. Think about that. I pulled on the ends, my diameter shrunk. Okay, good. I think that's problem one. You no, know, the other thing I guess what we should do is I should have had a textbook handy. I should have checked my answers. Hold on, clip on the shelf. Here we go. And it's going to be a little out of focus probably, but so let's see. Um, part B, it's uh, 0. 0.0230 inches. Yeah, I had an extra four at the end, but there's a three digits. I'm right. On the outside, I got that right. And then I got 240. Well, you can see that. Um, Oh man, that is a little bit of blurry. I'm sorry, I can't help that. It's right there, 240, and that matches up what I've got. And then they got a negative 280, which is exactly what I got. And the other, the one other thing we could do though is, what if I wrote, what if I wrote this as um, 0.49986 minus 0.5 over 0.49986? What is, what does that give me for an answer? And um, 0.49986 minus 0.5, and then divide that by 0.49986, enter. And I got, um, you see that? I got um, negative 2800, I guess I'd have to round that out, 0 0.2801. So that would be 280. 0.1 micro. Um, it's approximately equal to 280.1 micro. Um, that's that's the difference in length making a difference in our answer in the fourth decimal place. Are we going to worry about that? Are we going to are we going to This is now engineering. We don't get exact answers. If you go look at Professor Hans door right now, there's a cute little ad about 100 calories in everything. 
whatever they are, snack bars. But if you're Professor Han, it's plus or minus 3%. But that's not even 3%. We're starting to get down that road. We're starting to go down the road where you're pretty soon going to go, if I'm within 3%, I'm pretty happy, just like Professor Han. Hope you're doing well. Let's bang out that next example in a second. See ya.